Remember all that prismarine I wanted? Well, I'm going to show you why I wanted it. Let's take a little trip into a nasty place we call the Nether. Huh? How's this? Look at this. We have Nether tunnels. They keep us safe. This is the old way we used to travel. Through cobblestone and netherrack and soul sand and soul soil. All the way down there, that portal takes us to the guardian farm. This little branch here takes us to the nether fortress and to the savannah village. That first portal there, that's the savannah village. The nether fortress is down farther. And all the way down here, that's the uh, copper mine. Way, 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 way far away. This branch goes to, can you guess? Yeah, the frog light farm. But check this out. Here's our frog light farm. And how great is this? Having these tunnels makes it so much easier to get around in the nether and so much safer. I tell you, it wasn't so safe actually building it. I'll be honest. I got attacked many times, but I just wanted to show this off. And you see this dark prismarine? Well, of course you need black ink for that. Let's go have a look and see how we accomplish that. See that? That block up there, that is a squid farm. All we have to do is turn this baby on. Nothing in there right now. Turn that on. Minecart will be traveling around underneath those magma blocks and after a while the squid start spawning in We start getting ink sacs Squid spawning is very restricted at least it is in bedrock. So It's not a fantastic farm, but if I'm here for a couple of hours I'll get like eight or nine stacks of ink sacs. So that's pretty good. Now the minecart is going to come back, and if he has anything in him, he's going to unload. He's going to stop here and unload right into the chest. There he goes. Yeah, it's pretty good. Isn't that a gorgeous sight? I'm going to get rid of these trees. I've decided they're in the way. I'm going to move my forestry area somewhere else. I haven't decided where, but yeah. That's what I've been busy doing. Those tunnels took a long time, I can tell you. So the reason we're going back into the nether today is to make cold bartering hall. It's going to be small. I'm just going to start with six piglins and we will just have a very simple system. I've seen this system used a lot, but most recently I saw a video by Foxy No Tail. So I'm, I'm going to credit him with this. Now we've already dug this area out. Since this area is here, I'm going to build the gold bartering farm here. Our room is ready. Now it's too low. I will rip these out when it's time to put the individual stations in here. There will be a station here and here and here. And then we'll mirror that on this side. I'm leaving these uh, ribs in here for now because I don't want ghasts spawning in. That's why they're here in the first place. This is the room. Let's start building those workstations. And then we'll have to find our piglins to populate them. I guess we'll put an ad in the nether paper. We have our first contender. Now in Java you can't drag the boats like this with a lead. So I'm happy I'm in bedrock right now. I just got to make sure I don't hit you when I break the boat. That's the tricky part. Especially because I'm going to be trapped in here with you. And just like that, we've got them in there. That went so much easier than I thought it was going to. Okay, candidate number two. Okay, we have our second candidate here. He's actually our third candidate. Our second candidate despawned because I forgot to name him. You dressed up for the occasion. I'm really proud of you. You were really wanting to make a good impression. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. You are a gold hoarder and you are going to be happy there. Mm -hmm. I just know it. 
I just know you're you're gonna love it there. Let's give this guy two pieces of gold, and let's give this guy two pieces of gold. And the system should work. The thing is, we're not gonna know it works, so we need to give ourselves access to the hoppers so we'll know. Okay, we're gonna kickstart the system. We need to prime the pump, as it were. So the first bit of gold will be dispensed now. How come that didn't go? What about? Is there something in this hopper? Oh, there is. That's why it didn't go. There we go. Now he'll throw something down. It'll go into this hopper. He threw leather. And then the next piece of gold comes through. And he's going to give us something in exchange. String. Okay, so this guy gave leather and string. Wow, quite a bit actually. That's nice. This guy gave us soul sand and blackstone. Outstanding. Okay, system is working. We are so excited about that. You guys did great. Well done, you. I'm going to go see if I can get some more of your buddies. That's it. You've done it. And here's your new name. This is really kind of ugly, isn't it? It would have been better if I had dropped this line of hoppers down a level and then had a better looking block up here. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've got our six piglins in here and everybody is happy as Larry. Everybody is looking forward to getting to work. So let's give this a try and see what happens. I've got a bunch of gold with me. Okay, everybody gets half a stack. So you get half a stack. 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 And finally, you get half a stack. You are our first participant. We thank you for your service. I'm going to initiate launch. Go. 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 Ah, look at him. Wow, look at how much stuff we've got already. Why did you stop working? I wonder if it dropped a piece of gold on him and he missed it. Oh, so this is not a flawless system. They do miss the pieces of gold sometimes. Oh, you stopped working too. The timing seems to be okay, so I don't think it's a timing issue. Another book. Oh, soul speed three. Nice. 22 string. Look at this. This is pretty amazing. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much. I sat and AFK'd at my gold farm for about 20 minutes. And I had, by the end of that, about 10 stacks of gold ingots and let's see what we got from that from our bartering session we got a lot of non-stackable items mostly potions we got a bunch of soul speed books bottles of water but mostly it's just the fire resistance then all the stackable items look at all of this stuff stacks and stacks of goodies It's amazing. All of that good stuff. I'm sure we'll find a use for it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for an update. Let's see what I've been up to. There it is in there. Lovely. Works beautifully. We've extended the system. It now has filters on it. Now for the, the first seven of these, these are in sequence starting from here with blackstone and gravel being the most um, the most items dispensed over time and ending with ender pearls being the least number of items dispensed over time 
Got an overflow chest here. And underneath these first seven, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can build a one wide tileable shulker box loader. Now, of course, this is the uh, Impulse SV uh, filtering system, standard enough, famous by now for sure. It's been around for years. Uh, the non stackable item filter, I forgot to show you. Uh, stuff is going in here if it's non stackable. And that is based on a design I got from Rocket Builder. And the non stackable item filter is this thing right here. If there's anything that's not stackable, it'll show up there. Let's give that a test. We should have something not here. There's a bed and a boat. And let's throw in a few things that are stackable. See if everything goes where it should go. Now, of course, the boat and the bed should go here. And they do. Fantastic. Non stackable item filter. Now, this is a little different than the one that I use under my gold farm. And I'm hoping that this one is more reliable. I'm hoping it's quicker. And there we go. Perfect. Those items ran into the overflow chest because they don't match any of these filters here. Before we add the shulker box loaders, I think we'll test this. Let's go get some gold. Alright, I swapped out the old uh, non-stackable item sorter and I put in the new one, the one that I got from Rocket Builder. It is better. It definitely uh, lets fewer items slip past. Like here, I've been AFK for 15 minutes at the gold farm and only three swords got by the, the non-stackable item filter. So that's, that's really good. Uh, I would have had a lot more swords than that. Maybe nine or 10 or even more with the old system. Look, I took down all the trees. I think I'll make a bee farm over there since I've got bee nests over there already or bee hives. Notice the floor. One thing I did when I added the filtering system is I made the floor prettier. I'm impressed with how well these guys are doing. Everybody's catching their gold so far. Did I jinx it? It did. Look, <laughs> just when I say that. Now, did anything come out here? Look at that. The non-stackable items. Bunch of water, a splash, fire resistance, and soul speed iron boots. I think we'll save the filter box loader for another time and just be happy with this. So, filtering system in place and working, confirmed. A few little bugs here and there, but mostly working. So I'd say a 99% success rate is really good. We're gonna take that. That's a win. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.